Twinkles, Arthur and Puss by Judith Kerr. This is Grandpa. He has a black cat. It is called Puss. Puss has been Grandpa's cat ever since she was a kitten. They like each other. Sometimes they do things together. They always have supper together and Grandpa cooks the same thing for them both. Grandpa is very fond of bacon and chips. Puss likes them sometimes. This is the Jones family. They also have a black cat. It walked in with the milkman one day looking very hungry. So Mrs Jones gave it some cat food and now it eats a tin of cat food every morning for breakfast and the ch children have called it Twinkles. This is Lady Daisy. She found a black cat outside her window one day looking very sad, so she gave it some fish and called it Arthur. And now Arthur eats fish for his lunch every day and all Lady Daisy's friends admire him. Twinkles has a basket to sleep in, Arthur has three cushions, and Puss sleeps on Grandpa's bed. But day and night, Twinkles, Arthur and Puss are out a lot, and nobody knows where they go. Grandpa thinks Puss goes to play in the park. Lady Daisy thinks Arthur goes to see his friends, and the Jones' children think that Twinkles turns into Super Cat and has lots of adventures, but they are all wrong. And one day, Twinkles, Arthur and Puss all disappeared. Twinkles didn't come to eat her breakfast, Arthur didn't come to eat his lunch, and Puss didn't come to eat her supper. This made Grandpa so sad that he couldn't eat his supper either. So that night, Grandpa and Lady Daisy and all the Joneses went out into the dark to look for their missing cat. When it started to rain, they all met under a big tree. I'm looking for my cat, said Grandpa. So am I, said Lady Daisy. And so are we, said the Joneses. Suddenly, they heard a meow. It's Arthur, shouted Lady Daisy. It's Twinkle, shouted all the Joneses. No, said Grandpa, it's Puss. It's my cat. Oh, Puss, I'm so glad I found you. Puss, said Lady Daisy, your cat? But I thought that this was my cat, and I call it Arthur. Well, we call it Twinkles, cried all the Joneses. Puss, said Grandpa, whatever have you been up to? This cat eats breakfast at our house every day, said Mrs Jones, and I always give it lunch, said Lady Daisy. Oh dear, said Grandpa, Puss, you have been a greedy guts. The Joneses' children all began to cry. They cried, Twinkles, we want Twinkles. Lady Daisy nearly cried too, she was so sad. She said, oh Arthur, whatever will I do without you? But then, suddenly, they heard a very small meow, and another, and another, and another. They were very small meows, because they were made by very small cats. Kittens, shouted Grandpa. Push, you old clever clogs, you've had kittens. Oh, Arthur, said Lady Daisy. I never thought that one day you'd become a mummy. Can we have a kitten? shouted the Joneses' children. Please, please, please can we have a kitten? Well, what do you think, Puss? said Grandpa. We haven't got room for them all in our house. So when the kittens were big enough, one went to live with Lady Daisy, and she called it Arthur and fed it on fish, and all her friends admired it. And Arthur didn't miss his mummy because she came to see him every day, usually at lunchtime. The other three kittens went to live with the Joneses, and the children called them Twinkles, Tiddles and Twiddles, and they each ate a tin of cat food every morning. And they didn't miss their mummy either, because she came to see them every day at breakfast time. But on Sundays, they all went round to Grandpa's house, 
for a lovely big supper of bacon and chips. I am a greedy guts.